take a look at this video. So these types of videos are super popular right now. As we can see, this one has about 6.1 million views. If I click on this account, we can see that many of the videos on this account are getting six and seven figure views. And the other thing to note here is that if we open up these videos, we can see every single video is going to be exactly one minute or slightly over one minute long, which means this account is monetizing through the TikTok Creator Rewards Program. Now, there's actually a lot of really cool ways that you could monetize an account like this, but in this case, it looks like this account is just primarily focusing on the TikTok Creator Rewards Program. One thing to note here though is that a a lot of these videos are very high quality. They're very cinematic looking. If we open this one, for example. All right, so this creator is definitely using some high quality tools here and some good strategies. And so I'm gonna show you how to reproduce a video similar to this and show you the exact step-by-step -step process. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to try and recreate something similar to this video. And so step one is to generate our reference images that we're later going to bring to life with Kling AI. But there are some important steps to follow if you want your videos to come out with this very high quality cinematic look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is is basically just start taking screenshots of these characters. The next one here with these Dalmatians, I'll take a screenshot there. This one here with these Rottweilers and I'll just continue this through the following clips. All right, so now I have all my screenshots right here. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is come over into the Creator Secrets school community. I'm gonna come to right here where it says start here and I'm gonna come to this little tool called Prompt Magic which is available to all the community members in this group. And this is a resource that will allow you to get your prompts instantly if you're trying to recreate a certain you know, style of content or whatever. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the dump folder and then I'm gonna bring my screenshots right here and I can do eight at a time. So I'm gonna select my first eight photos right here. I'm gonna drop them into this folder and then I'm just gonna wait for them to upload here. It should only take a few seconds. By the way, if you wanna see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best, I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. All right, now I have the screenshots uploaded here. I'm gonna come back to the school module right here. I'm gonna click this button. And now we can see in the upper left, it says accepted. And so now, once again, I'll come back here. And now all I have to do is open up the output folder. And right here where it says new folder, it's currently in progress. In a couple seconds, this is going to change to you know, reflect uh, those types of pictures we're gonna see in just a moment. Okay, so now we can see the name has changed to Cinematic Tactical Dog Soldiers Illustrated. I'm gonna click this. These are all the reference images and it's basically created prompts for every single one of those images. So if I open this, we can now see that I have a prompt to recreate every single one of those images. And so now all I have to do is come into Mid Journey right here. I'm gonna open my document with my prompts right here and I'm just gonna pull this onto my other screen so I can easily copy and paste and now all I'm gonna do is just paste these prompts in I'm not even gonna look at it I'm just gonna start sending these in now I'll bring the next prompt in here and I'll send that one 
here's some of the results so far. We're already starting to get some pretty cool images from those prompts. Also, just for fun, I'm gonna come into the tool Crea and I'm gonna use their new Flux module that you can use right inside of Crea. Flux, for those that don't know, is basically just a competitor to Midjourney. However, sometimes it's a bit more accurate with following the prompts. So I'm going to set that to nine by 16, paste in the prompts, and let's see what we get out of Flux. Okay, so here are some of the results. Pretty cool, but these are a little bit more cartoony looking, it seems. Um, if we go through, these ones down here are actually pretty cool. In any case, I'm just gonna continue this process and gather all of my images. All right, so in the end, I ended up with these pictures. Some of them are really good and some of them not so much. These are the ones from Mid Journey. And then if I come over to Flux right here inside of Crea, um, again, some of them are really, really good and then others not so much. So at this point, I'm just gonna go through and download all the images that I want. Some of them will be from Flux right here and some of them will be from Mid Journey. And then after that, I will move on to the next step. Okay, so at this point, I've got all of my images that I selected and downloaded right here. And so now I'm just gonna go through one by one and I'm gonna start bringing them into Magnific. And this is gonna be a vital step for creating that really cinematic look. I'm just gonna leave all of this on its default settings, come down here and click upscale. So this one's just finished and as you can see, it just adds a ton of really subtle detail to these images, you know, with the cloth, the eyes, the fur on the dog and everything like that. We wanna make sure that these images are as detailed as possible for the next step. And so I'm gonna go through every single image and upscale it through Magnific, just like this, so that we can have some really nice, high quality images just like that. All right, so I just finished upscaling all the images and as you can see, they just look so much better. Again, here you can see there's just such a huge difference after bringing it through this upscaler. Because Magnific doesn't just upscale the image, it actually adds its own creative details. Even some of these ones from Flux where they looked almost cartoonish after bringing it through Magnific, it just looks really, really good, a lot more realistic. This one might be my favorite right here. This was one of the ones from Flux. And after bringing it through Magnific, you can see the amount of detail that's been added, which is just, absolutely amazing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and download each of these images so we can get ready to start animating. Okay, so now the next step is to start bringing all these images to life and I'm gonna be using Kling AI for this. Between all the various video tools, you know, Luma, Dream Machine, Runway, Gen 3, and everything else, Kling has proven to produce the best results, at least as of right now. So the first step is to obviously make sure you set this to image to video, and then I'm just going to drag in the first image right here. And you can either leave the prompt blank. However, if you want something specific to happen, then basically what you wanna do is you want to start with the subject. So I'll say a humanoid dog. Then you want to describe the action. Runs and fires a rifle. And this is not perfect by any means, but the next thing that you want to do is you wanna make sure you switch this to professional mode and professional mode is basically going to make sure that it retains all of those intricate details that Magnific added to this image. Having it on professional mode is what's going to retain that cinematic look and all of those intricate details. This will burn through your credits relatively quickly, so obviously keep that in mind. It's gonna cost 35 credits per generation, but let's go ahead and do it and see what we get. Okay, so here's what we ended up with right here. And I think that is pretty good. Definitely a usable clip. So now I'll just continue on through this process and then show you the results. All right, so I'm just finishing up the last generation here. And so I'll go through some of these results and show you some of the different prompts that I used and some of the issues that I ran into here. So first of all, the bad news is it almost burned through my entire month's worth of credits. I'm on the standard plan right here. However, the good news is it got these right almost every single time. There was a couple that weren't really usable, but for the most part, every single clip came out really, really good. This last one just finished up right here. And as you can see, I just said humanoid dogs march confidently and it basically got that exactly right. And some of my other favorites here, if we look at this one, 
This one's really cool. This one, the prompt, I put a humanoid dog fires a 50 cal rifle and it's doing exactly that. Now there is some kind of weird little movement at the end, but I'll probably just crop that part out. But this is absolutely phenomenal. The recoil and the dust and the physics is just spot on. It looks totally awesome. Obviously this is not actually a 50 cal rifle, but I just wanted to make sure that it tried to get that recoil in there. Here's another little clip that looks really cool, nice and cinematic. And again, I just put a humanoid dog walks slowly. The prompt I put here, I said humanoid dogs crouch down and explosions blast debris all over them. So overall, I think that came out really, really good. It really looks like a blast just went off behind these guys and they just got knocked down from the explosion. Here was another action scene that came out pretty good. I said a humanoid dog fires an automatic assault rifle. And as we can see, he's definitely firing that rifle. The recoil is awesome. The physics are awesome. The little light uh, explosions look really cool. This one was kind of fun. I just put a humanoid dog sits down and eats a sandwich and he definitely just pulls a sandwich out of his pocket and starts eating it. Now here's one where I used no prompt at all. And as we can see, it kind of just didn't know what to do and there's all kinds of weird stuff going on here. So this was one of the clips that was not usable, but just goes to show that adding a text prompt definitely does help for the most part. But of course, it's not always going to get it right. This clip, for example, I said a humanoid dog runs through a battle zone and fire consumes him which overall this clip still came out really awesome, but the fire's not necessarily consuming him, but that's okay, it's still really cool. Here's another one that didn't quite follow the prompt. I said, humanoid dogs get blown up in a massive explosion. And so again, they're kind of just running through the battle zone, but they didn't really get blown up or anything like that. Actually, just for fun, I'll go ahead and rerun this one and see if it can get it right this time. But coming back to this clip, I did end up adding a prompt here, just saying humanoid dogs crouch on a hillside and look into the distance. And as we can see, it definitely got it right that time. Another one that didn't come out quite right, I put a humanoid dog fires a 50 cal rifle on this little guy. And in this clip, he doesn't really fire the rifle. He's kind of just chilling right there. And then same thing over here. But in this case, again, he's kind of just chilling and uh, wagging his tail. He's pretty excited to be in this battle, apparently. But he's not a violent dog, so he doesn't want to shoot his rifle. But other than that, every other clip came out pretty spot on for the most part. All right, so our explosion clip just finished up here and I'm not completely sure what's going on here. There's definitely some weird prancing and there is some <laughs> explosions going on. This dog seems to kind of just disintegrate into the sand at the end. So it definitely seems to be having a harder time with this prompt. I could probably mess around with it and get it right eventually. I'm trying it one more time just for fun, but now I'll go ahead and start downloading all of these clips so we can bring it into the edit. Okay, so at this point I have all of my clips from Kling, so I'm just gonna drop all of these into Premiere Pro. Obviously you can use any editor that you want. So all I'm gonna do here is just rearrange the clips to kind of fit in with the soundtrack and get everything uh, aligned. So I'll go ahead and do that now and then we'll continue on after that. Okay, so after arranging the clips how I want, uh, this is what we ended up with right here. All right, so not too bad, but I'm just gonna take this one step further and I'm gonna come over here to 11 Labs and I'm gonna generate some sound effects to go along with this. Um, and we'll just start out with the 50 cal uh, rifle, rifle shot. So 11 Labs should be able to generate any sort of sound effect that you want. And now we have a few options here. Let's take a listen.
Okay, so pretty awesome, pretty good. So now I'm just gonna go through and do some sound design, add some sound effects on all these clips, and I'll be right back after that. Okay, so after a little bit of sound design, here's what we got. it not too bad so overall this is really good looking ai from cling and again if you want to get that really cinematic look the most important steps are to run each image through magnific and then switch the settings on cling to be in professional mode and finally when you're prompting again be sure to describe the subject first and then the action and that should generally give you a pretty good output so that you don't burn through all of your credits, rerunning the clips over and over again. And finally, in terms of monetization, there's a lot of different ways you could monetize this content. As we can see, this clip is slightly over one minute long, which is what you want it to be in terms of monetizing with the TikTok Creator Rewards program. But of course, if you wanna see all the additional ways that you can monetize, be sure to join the community on school. But that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.